right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You guys want to know about my jacket, so let's talk about it on Sunday Gun Day. What is going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. You've been asking the question time and time again, so finally I'm bringing you a video to answer it for you. This jacket, you've seen me wear it in the past couple of videos now, and it comes from a company called Amobilis. The founder of this company, Brian Abrams, has been designing and manufacturing apparel and gear for special operation forces in the United States military for over 25 years now. A lot of his designs and products have been used by SEAL teams, Marine Recon, Army Special Forces, law enforcement, and emergency responders. The company itself is a small startup and they're currently using Kickstarter to get funding to put these jackets into production. You guys probably already know how I feel about Kickstarter, I've worked with companies from Kickstarter in the past, and the reason that I like doing that is because they're usually small companies with a vision to make something great, like this jacket. Amobilis is making these jackets with an obvious tactical design, and they're using premium materials and quality manufacturing from their military roots to bring awesome products like this to your average person like myself. So this jacket is just one piece of their new line which they're calling their Responder Tactical Outfit outerwear system. A majority of this jacket is made out of a mil-spec Nyko material which is 50-50 nylon and cotton. It's got the nylon for the strength and durability and the cotton for the breathability and comfort. The entire jacket is also coated to be water and weather resistant. There are strategically placed patches of stretch woven soft shell and basically what this allows for is better movement. You'll find it under the arms, down the sides, and even a little bit on the cuffs. Since nylon is a pretty heavy duty rigid material, these little patches allow you to move around freely. There's reinforcements found all over the jacket where a normal jacket would probably wear out after a couple of years. You'll find metal rivets and heavy duty stitching throughout the entire thing. On both of the shoulders and front chest pockets you'll find coated neoprene for better durability and these layers also have laser cut molly slits if you want to attach anything to the outside of your jacket. They're really keeping the tactical professionals and emergency first responders in mind when designing this jacket. Now pockets. This thing has pockets for days. I actually haven't even counted them yet but we got one up here on the sleeve, two fleece line pockets up front to keep your hands warm. On the right side of this one, there's also a secondary zipper, so you could put something a little bit more valuable in there if you're worried about it falling out. There's another pocket up here behind my patches. They put nice Velcro on both sides so you can put your favorite patches. Maybe I should make some of those in the future with my logo on them. And then up front we have two chest pockets. These are those neoprene layers that I was talking about. Laser cut molly straps here, so say if you have a knife and you've been using it a lot, you wanna keep it on the outside of your jacket so you can get it faster. Say you're outside cutting firewood or you're an emergency first responder, you got a seatbelt cutter here, pop this right off. These pockets are also fleece lined and they're held closed with a magnet, so they're basically like quick access pockets. I tend to put my cell phone in this pocket pretty much all the time. And then the final and kind of awkwardly placed pockets would be right here on the back. This is basically like a front hoodie pocket, but it's on the back of the jacket. You could put something pretty large in there. Maybe if you're carrying like a tablet or a notebook or something, you could just slip it right in there and kind of forget about it. So it has all of these cool features and everything, and you're probably asking right now, what's the point of having a tactical jacket like that? Other than myself really liking the looks of this jacket, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. It's also really great for concealed carry. Anyone who carries concealed knows that wearing a jacket like this can be a little bit intrusive when you're trying to draw your weapon. I'm currently wearing wearing a t-shirt, a hoodie, and this jacket, so that's three different layers of material that I have to get out of the way to get to my firearm. I personally carry appendix, but this can also work if you're carrying on your hip on either side. So how does this thing work and make it easier for concealed carry? For starters, I'm wearing a large, and it sort of fits like a motorcycle jacket. It's not overly long or oversized, like I tend to wear most of my clothing. When I reach my arm straight out, the sleeves kind of come up a little bit, but that's actually what you want in a situation like this. It's got all those patches of soft shell in the right places, like I said, for movement. And you can also pick these up in 0.5 sizes to get a jacket that's basically like custom fit. So now drawing the weapon, on each side of the jacket here you might have noticed these zippers. You can leave these zippers up on both sides of the jacket and then there's just these little snaps that hold it in place. Now with a normal jacket, if you don't have these zippers and snaps on the side, if I'm going to grab my gun from appendix carry, I pull my jacket out of the way, my hoodie and t-shirt are in there and I can't really get it up nice and clean. There's just too much resistance here, too much that can go wrong. It's just really not convenient. The best way to do it would just be to carry with your jacket open. So it's cold out, I wanna have my jacket zipped up, I have my hoodie on underneath here. What I'll do is pull these zippers back up and then the jacket still looks pretty normal because it has these snaps holding it in place. Now when I go to draw my gun, if I pull up on my jacket, 
the snaps come right out of the way and this whole front flap kind of flips up. Now when I do that in combination of grabbing the hoodie underneath too, everything comes cleanly out of the way. I have a nice open path to draw my weapon, do whatever I need to do, and then reholster. Now at first, it seemed kind of gimmicky to me until I actually used it and practiced with it. Previously with a jacket without these features, say there's no zips and no snaps, if you're gonna draw your gun, it is a lot trickier. Especially when your jacket is tight fitting like this, you kinda have to lean back real far, make sure everything's out of the way before you get up and draw your gun. Now with the snaps and the zippers on the side, I basically just grab everything up front like I'm only wearing a hoodie, pull it straight up, and everything is completely clear of my gun. I can pull it out, draw, no obstruction. Here's a better idea of what that would look like in real time. If you've ever taken a course on carrying a concealed handgun, I'm no professional by the way, you don't need to take advice from me, but what they always tell you is to grab as much clothing up front as you can and pull it as high as you can to get it way out of the way. So with these simple features on this jacket, it makes it a breeze, everything's out of the way. I tend to tuck my t-shirt in behind my gun, especially when I'm wearing layers like this. It's just one extra thing out of the way, it makes it more comfortable and reholstering is actually easier as well. So that's my overview on the Amobilis Responder Jacket. I can tell why you guys are interested in it because it is a pretty cool product. If you think this is something that you might be interested in, you can check out their Kickstarter campaign at my referral link in the description down below. They're also making hoodies that complement these jackets. I don't have one personally, but maybe in the future I'll end up working with them more if this is something that you guys want to see more of. Now there's different backer tiers. If you don't know how Kickstarter works, basically you pledge a certain amount of money, and then with that pledge you'll get a reward once everything goes into production. Amobilis is already established, so backing their campaign shouldn't be an issue and currently the price to get this jacket will be a backer pledge at around $250. Now I know a lot of people just went, hell no, there's no way I'm paying that much for a jacket. You're already scrolling down to the comments to leave some stupid mean opinions that I didn't even ask for in the first place. Here's the thing, it's a common theme across a lot of the products that I show on my channel. You pay for quality. Will a $50 jacket from Walmart keep you warm? Yeah, probably. Does it have as many features as this jacket? Probably not, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say yeah. So what justifies the price tag then? Well, the quality of the manufacturing is top notch. They're using nothing but premium materials. And this jacket is also backed with a lifetime warranty. If you have a problem with it at any point, just send them an email and they're gonna take good care of you. I myself don't mind spending a little bit more money for high quality products and helping out a small company at the same time. And let's be honest, this thing is a hell of a lot cooler than a North Face jacket. So that's gonna be it for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. That is all for today. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.